importance of those you need to be wary of. I am sorry. Also, you've shown no ability to read between the lines, or of being able to hide your own less popular opinions. Ascendance of a Bookworm is an autistic, escapist fantasy. It's wish fulfillment for people with autism. So what makes Bookworm autistic? Well, it's the main character, mine. She has autism. Like, the only reason she comes off as a six-year-old girl, even though she's 20, is because she's autistic. I mean, I'm 99% sure she has Asperger's, which is when you have difficulty in understanding social cues, as well as a tendency to have an obsessive focus on a single subject. And mine here fits this description to a T. She's obsessed with books, and she has a hard time understanding other people's feelings. Though her autism isn't severe enough to the point where she just cannot understand people, she can, she just needs a push. And that push, you know, to understand people, is what I think makes Bookworm an escapist fantasy for people with autism. Because this isekai world is crafted in such a way where mine is forced to develop as a person. She's forced into understanding people, into creating and maintaining relationships, as well as to work with other people, all to keep her obsession going, which is to read books. All the things that mine does in this anime comes from the core motivation of reading books, and in the process of doing so, she learns the value of relationships, teamwork, love, which is pretty much the point of every arc. Like when mine wants to make the clay tablets, but she can't do it by herself, she needs Lutz's help to get the clay. Or when she wants to sell her stuff to get money, she needs Dio's help because she's six years old and she can't hold a negotiation because, you know, Asperger's. So it's basically just mine wanting to do something, realizing that she can't do it alone, and then she asks other people for help, looking at what she did wrong, and by the end grows as a person because she learns one or two things about the world. That is the core gameplay loop. Now that loop is the escapist fantasy I was talking about, which might seem kind of weird because, oh, you struggle, learn from your mistakes, and grow as a person? Isn't that just real life? Well, that's correct, but I want you to think about what would happen to mine, or I guess Urano, if she never got isekai if she stays in Japan, she will never need to struggle desperately to sustain her obsession with books. All she needs is a library card. And because she never needs to struggle, she will never learn the value of relationships, the value of love, or how to be social. Everything, like all the life lessons, gone. Because we get the flashback in episode 26 where Urano's reading at the dinner table and she's just ignoring the hell out of her mom, breaking her heart. She cooks Urano's favorite meal and this bitch is just reading. In the flashback, mine, you know, after she gets isekai mine looks back and she understands that she did something wrong. She even cries because she didn't get to say sorry to her mother. Whereas Urano, on that dinner table, never realizes that. She just keeps reading. So think about it, if Uranu never got reincarnated into mine, she would have never understood her mother's pain, and by the time she realizes, it's probably too late. I think the only way she can realize is if her mom dies, and now there's no one there to take care of her. She feels lonely, she finally realizes how much her mother meant to her, how much she hurt her, and now she keeps blaming herself for her death. You know, why didn't I ever realize it? I'm sorry, mom, please come back. But she's never coming back. And to escape the pain, she drowns herself in a mountain of books. But she hates it now. This is what killed mother. I hate books. But I can't stop reading. This is my calling in life. This is my punishment. Eventually, it grinds down on her soul, to the point that she can't do her job properly. She's a librarian. She just keeps on reading, ignoring the visitors, neglecting her job. She gets fired, but she still goes to the library. Because of that, her former colleagues bully her every time she comes. One day, she finally blows up and attacks one of them. Now she's banned from the library. Once her ultimate goal in life, she just stays in her room now, forced to read on a fucking Kindle. But these ebooks, man, they cost money. Her rent's due. What now? A part-time job? Nah, can't do it anymore. Her landlord's banging on the door. I guess it's time to end it.
she jumps off. Or what I think is the worst ending, where she doesn't even notice her mother's pain. Her mom dies, and she's just like, oh, mom's dead, huh? Okay. She feels a little empty. Don't know why, though. And she just keeps on reading with a hole in her heart, never understanding why it's there. It just keeps gnawing on her soul without her ever realizing it. Also, no social skills, no relationships. She never gets married, just alone till her final breath. So, yeah, very fun. <laughs> yeah, I just don't see how Urano's life can end happily. If I was in that situation, I would definitely fantasize about the perfect catalyst that would force me to change my ways and develop as a person. And in Bookworm, that catalyst is the Isekai world with the perfect support system of family and friends, where my obsession with books can serve a greater purpose, but also, also, enough hardship to challenge myself so that I can grow as a person and learn the values of life. Which is the point of this isekai? It forces someone with no interest in other people to understand other people. It presents a perfect scenario where that development can and will happen. And it's not just some random scenario, it's a specific scenario for a main character that exhibits strong symptoms of autism. So in that sense, Bookworm offers a very unique form of escapism for autistic people that does not feel condescending, like fucking radio, you know? <laughs> the movie? Actually, I haven't watched radio in 15 years, so I don't know. Uh, or that stupid TV show, the, the Good Doctor. You know, Bookworm is actually good. But here's the thing, it's still escapism. Ascendance of a Bookworm does not address the problem that is Urano's past life. She just leaves her problems on Earth unresolved, fucking dips to the isekai world. So if you want to read a story that actually faces these problems head on, I suggest the manga Asperu Kanojo, which is about a dude with depression taking care of a girl that is mentally ill. And it is rough. I mean, I did not enjoy a single second of reading this. Not because it's bad, but because it's painful. In a good way, you know? Like, it's so good at depicting mental illness that it hurts. Because I have some experiences with mental illness. Some of my friends are mentally ill. I had to take care of them back in the day. And it and this hits home. Poon Poon ain't got shit on this. Doesn't romanticize anything. It just hits you hard. So yeah, go read Asperu Kanojo. Bookworm is pretty good. Uh, tell me your thoughts. Is Bookworm autistic? Am I autistic? I might be. But yeah, thanks for watching.